Nana! I can't believe you actually came here. DJ Matsushita is so awesome! So cool and so hot! <laughs> if you like him, then why don't you tell him? If you're lucky, maybe he'll even agree to go out with you. Are you kidding? You see how popular he is with the women? Rumor has it that he's with a different woman every night. He's an enemy to women everywhere. What a jerk. Then don't fall in love with him. Hey, I've heard that advice before. You know, you sound a lot like Junko sometimes. Maybe I should start calling you Shoujun. No one could help giving a girl like you advice. It's interesting, but ever since June started going out with Kyosuke, she doesn't talk to me the same way anymore. She's toned down a bit. Guess that's what love can do. <laughs> but that's okay. I've got you as my friend now, Shoji. I guess I'm just a replacement for Junko. So, Shoujun, why did you come and get me? I wish you wouldn't call me that. I was out having a drink with Kyosuke and Junko, and I thought you might want to join us. I didn't want you to think we were leaving you out on purpose. Yay! Let's go! I'd love a drink. You know what? We always seem to end up drinking. Sometime we should do something completely different, like go to the beach. The beach? Summer vacation's nearly here. Why don't the four of us take a trip somewhere? The, the beach! beach! is awesome. Reminds me of being a kid. I'm bored of seeing mountains all the time. <laughs> I know what you mean. It's nice to have a change. <sighs> I think I need to go to bed soon. Oh, really, June? We'll get going and see you in the morning. What are you talking about? I thought you were going to be sleeping in this room with Junko. I've given my bed to Kyosuke. I'm sleeping in your room with you. What? What do you mean, sleep in my room? <laughs> you really don't get it, do you? What? Hurry up, let's go. Well, that was pretty easy. I guess there was no reason to worry about them. I wouldn't be so sure about that. <sighs> okay, you've got some explaining to do. Everything's gonna be fine. You sleep in one bed and I'll sleep in the other. I'm not gonna jump you. If you like, I can sing you a lullaby just like your grandma does. I don't need you to sing. You might be fine with this, but I'm not. What if I jump on you? But why would you? Yeah, what do you mean, why? We're just friends, right? <sighs> hey, Nana. You really haven't caught a clue about men and how they operate, have you? A guy can sleep with a girl without having any feelings for her. Uh, I know that. Only too well. Oh. But I thought you were different from other guys, Shoji. June told me you weren't like that. I don't know what Junko told you. But I'm a guy, and that's the way that I am. Oh, man, what are you crying for? Because I really like you, Shoji, and I don't want you to be like all those other guys. Huh? When you say that you like me, Nana, do you mean like me like me, or just like me as a friend? As a friend, of course. You're the best guy friend I've ever had in my life. I don't see you as just a male. I see you as a human being. But even though he's a human being, he's still a male, so maybe it's not a good idea to sleep in the same room. 
I should never have suggested it. It's hard for a guy and a girl to be just friends, isn't it, Shojun? <sighs> but we can give it a shot. Well, I suppose I should be getting back to my room. Wait, Nana, that's not a good idea. Hmm? They're probably, you know. Oh, right. What'll I do? How long do you think they're going to be going at it? Don't ask me. I got no idea. What are we going to do? Hmm. All right, listen to me. You're going to sleep there, huh? and I'll sleep over here in this bed. No, we can't do that. It's too dangerous. There's no need to worry. Why not? You just said a minute ago you don't want me to be like all the other guys, right? So it's obvious I need to earn your trust again. For the sake of our friendship. Good night. Shoji, I love you. Sleep now, little baby, sleep my You child. don't have to sing. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. I didn't sleep at all last night. So, Shojun was a good boy. I wish you wouldn't call me that. Promise me you'll always take good care of Nana, okay? Yeah, yeah. But the two of us are just friends, you know. Now I can go to Tokyo knowing there's someone to look after her. Hmm? June! Aren't you coming in? I want you to swim with me! Okay, okay! Don't lie in the sun too long, or you're gonna regret it later. Kyosuke, is Junko really going to Tokyo? Yeah, you heard about that. What's she going for? Is it just a trip, or is it long term? She's applying for art school there next year. If she doesn't get in, she'll go to a prep school. Junko will get into art school no problem. But what about you? Aren't you gonna miss her? You seem pretty cool about it. Yeah, I'm cool with her. Cause I'm going with her. Uh... What about me? Aren't you gonna try and stop me? Right! If you decide not to go, then maybe she won't go either! Please don't go, Kiyosuke! Please don't oh, go! That's enough, Nana. Whether Kiyosuke's there or not isn't gonna change a thing. I'm serious about studying art, and that's why I'm going to school in Tokyo. It's my life. I don't need you telling me what to do. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <sighs> She's right, of course. Everything she says is right. I'll be so lonely without her. I'll feel even worse than I did on that snowy night. Hmm. You know, Nana, I think I want to try and get into an art school in Tokyo, too. Why don't you do the same? No way, this is awesome! I never knew there were so many art schools to choose from. I mean, there's gotta be one that'll accept me. Yeah, so why not apply to all of them? Even if I don't get into one of the university programs, I can always try another technical college. Why would you want to do that? If you can't go to university, what's the point? This is my life we're talking about, and I don't need you telling me what to do. Oh! you do that? All I want to do is go to Tokyo with you guys. You can do what you want. It doesn't make any difference to me how your life turns out. Oh, dude! Uh, why are you so happy about the fact that I don't give a damn? I have to work really hard. No more staying out late. <laughs> Farewell, DJ Matsushita. No time for romance. I gotta get to Tokyo. Besides, there's tons of guys there and cool shops. It's gonna be great. This is the start of our magical Tokyo adventure, right, June? <laughs> I guess life doesn't always work out as planned. But it's not fair. I studied so hard. How come I couldn't even get into one school? Fate is against me. This has got nothing to do with fate. You guys are lucky. You got into the school you wanted. And you'll go to all kinds of cool parties. I didn't apply to university just so I could go to parties. But Nana, I thought you said it didn't have to be a university. So what happened to enrolling at a technical college? My parents said they'd only pay my tuition if I was going to university. Then you'll have to wait another year and apply again. I don't really care about art school. I just wanted to stay in Tokyo with you guys. 
What should I do? Hmm. You guys mind if we head back to the hotel? I want to get up early tomorrow and start looking for an apartment. Fine with me. Hey, Nana, we've come all this way to Tokyo. We should check out a few of the sites. Okay. Where should we start? Hey, guys, why don't you go ahead without us? Sure, but you better not drink too much. Listen to him, always worrying about someone else. Tokyo's amazing. I can't believe there are so many people still on the streets when it's so late at night. Makes me feel like I'm a total country girl. Well, you are a country girl. Speaking of which, I wanted to make a suggestion. Don't you think the best thing to do might be to stay at the art school back home next year? Are you kidding? I want to move to Tokyo no matter what. It's just I feel responsible for putting you in this mess. I never should have suggested it in the first place. I think maybe you'd be better off if you stayed back at home. Absolutely not! Hmm. Do you really want to be with Junko that much? Not just her. Aren't you going to be in Tokyo as well, Shoji? Uh, yeah, I was planning to stay here and go to a prep school. Then take the university exams again. Then I'm coming to live in Tokyo, too. If my parents won't give me any money, I'll just have to find a job so I can support myself. Do you know what the hell you're talking about? That's totally crazy. It's not crazy. I can make this work. I know I can. But you don't have any money. How do you think you're going to survive? I already told you. I'll get a job. What about your rent? You're going to need a lot of money to pay your deposit up front. You're not a kid anymore. I shouldn't have to tell you this stuff. Why don't you get real for once? Then I'll go to prep school like you. If I do that, maybe my parents would help out with some Just money. listen to yourself. Don't go to prep school for nothing. Then what should I do? Go back home and stay there. But if I go back home, aren't you gonna be lonely here without me? I will not be lonely. I'll be relieved. What am I to you anyway? You get all teary-eyed whenever it suits you, but you never stop to think about my feelings or how you might be messing around with my heart. You want some nice guy to be part of your life, but only if it's on your terms. All this talk of just being friends with a guy? Don't make me laugh. with Shoji. I never paid any attention to where we were going because he always led the way. I guess it was a mistake to rely on him that much. And now, I don't have a clue where I am. Nana? That's right. I'm in Tokyo. Oh. It can't be. I thought it was you. Nana, what's the matter? What are you doing here in Tokyo? <laughs> it's over, man. She drove me to the edge and I kind of snapped. I just couldn't help it. I totally understand why you got upset with her, but I can't believe you left her in the middle of the city like that. What were you thinking? The streets are well lit and there are tons of people around. She should find her way. That is so not the point. <sighs> you should just shut up. Since you can't figure it out yourself, let me help. Nana's in love with you. What? That's impossible. <sighs> Imagine what she feels like. The man she loves telling her she can't be with him? Think of the effect that it'd have on her. I always thought that Nana might have a thing for me, but I just put it down to wishful thinking. What's with that, man? You should know by now, if Junko tells you something like that, it's true. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? <sighs> Some people need to think before they act. So you applied to different art schools? Yeah, but I didn't get into any of them. 
I really don't know what to do next. I kind of had my heart set on moving to Tokyo. Oh, don't worry, I'm not following you or anything. I would never ever cause you any trouble. I'm not gonna turn into some crazy stalker. <laughs> you know something, Nana? You haven't changed. Really? You don't think I've changed? Look at my hair and my clothes. I look more like a kid now than when I was in high school. It's pretty embarrassing to have you see me like this. I think that style suits you better, Nana. You think so? It looks okay? But the way you speak hasn't changed at all. Oh? I would never ever cause you any trouble. I'm not some crazy stalker. Don't worry. You said that every time we got together. It made things difficult. Really? Why? Well, I'm not the only one who hasn't changed around here. Every time I'd ask what's wrong, you'd go all silent on me. Hmm? Huh. It was hard for me. I never knew what you were thinking. I guess you're right. Sorry about that. What a strange feeling. I thought I really hated this guy. But after seeing him again, I, I don't feel that way at all. Maybe what we had before wasn't a lie. I really loved him, and I think he might have felt the same way. Just a little. And that's okay. I should accept it. I don't have to feel sad about it. Aha! Uh -huh, right! This is great! I definitely recognize this corner. Go straight ahead and you'll get to your hotel. Mr. Asano! How are you? Huh? What are you doing out so late? Not only that, who's this young lady you're with? I guess I'm gonna have to tell your pretty wife about this. <laughs> then I'll have to buy you dinner to keep your mouth shut. Well, all right, we got a deal. <laughs> I'll see you later. Shouldn't you have made up some excuse? Don't worry, he doesn't suspect a thing. He was just kidding around. If I made some excuse, then it would have seemed suspicious. I see. He dealt with that guy so smoothly. Makes me wonder if he has affairs all the time. Hmm. At least now I know you gave me your real name. I'm glad. What? Nothing. Just talking to myself. I guess I should get back to my hotel. <laughs> Don't cheat on your wife anymore. I'll try not to. Glad to hear it. Not that I should be the one telling you this. <laughs> Goodbye, Takashi. It's true. I really did love you. It's all right. No more tears. A stupid ringtone. I gotta change it sometime. Hello, this is Nana. Hey, sounds like everything's all right. Huh? Kyosuke? Wow, you sound pretty happy. Guess that means he found you. He found me? Who found me? So he hasn't found you. Didn't think he would. Where are you? For a minute there, I thought he was talking about Takashi. I'm not far from the hotel. I'll be back there really soon. Junko and Shoji got worried and started a search party to try and find you about an hour ago. Huh? When they find you, it's gonna be like some bad TV soap opera. You never think about my feelings! I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. It's fine. You don't have to apologize to me. I just thought... <laughs> don't waste your tears on me. It's all right. Shoji is totally in love with you. Don't lie to me! You're the one who's lying, and you know it. <gasps> Kiyosuke, do you have any idea where Shoji is right now? He could be anywhere. Though he's probably within walking distance of the hotel. Why don't you come back up to the room, okay? Uh... No luck, Kyosuke. Can't find her. 
We'd better hurry and try and reach her on her cell phone. So you finally figured that out. The truth is, I've always loved him. From the first moment our eyes met. But I was getting over my previous breakup back then. Okay, so I was a bit selfish playing the victim, but the pain inside was real. I guess I was afraid. Afraid of getting close to someone again. But looking back, whenever I was with you, Shoji, I felt like you were healing me. I didn't realize it, but you had wrapped me up inside your heart. Now I want you to embrace me with that same warmth, with all your strength. Shoji. Shoji! I reached into the sky. Oh, more I belong. I'm not 